So there is a Part D and a Part E, but unfortunately when I printed this off, it did not include it. So I think we will have to go back here to see it when it is time. So we're going to start first by plugging this in to come up with an equation and then placing that into the y equals piece. First thing I'm going to do is going to go to stats and edit and type in the given information. So we have 32, 62, 89, making sure everything is correctly placed into the calculator. Now I'm going to go back and put in 1 through 6. Going to stats and calculate and it says to calculate the cubic regression model. Now if I go up to y equals I can hit vars, go down to stat, go across to equation and I can put that in. Let's check this window. So for our window right now um, our y values can go up to 6 and our x values can go up to we'll put it at 180 to give enough space to see this. Okay, Part A, how many miles have you traveled in two minutes? So I need to convert two minutes um, into this. So two minutes would be 120 seconds. So second trace value 120 matches up with 4.18. Let me write that down. X, we want to know the instantaneous speed when he is two minutes into the race. So I'm going to do second draw and I want to draw a tangent line when the X value is 120. And the slope is what I'm going to write down. Okay, now we're going to convert this. So this is speed. Um, and we're going to convert this now. Um, so this was miles per. What is the speed in miles per second? So we need to convert this into miles per hour. And I made this mistake. It wasn't matched up. I reached out to David Ulysses. Um, and I was doing a, a simple mistake of when you go from seconds to minutes, remember, seconds, there is 60 seconds in one minute. And there is, so we're right now we're in miles per second. So we have this number here. And then we have, go back to what you probably learned at the very beginning of uh, chemistry. And then we have 60 minutes in one hour. So our seconds cancels, our minutes cancels. So I need to take 60 times 60. So 3,600 times this quantity. Point zero, oops, three, seven, nine, seven, zero. So that's this quantity that we write here times 60 times 60 or times 3,600. And there is my answer. The answer is 136.96 miles per hour. Okay, let's glance right now at question uh, part D. What is instantaneous speed at the one mile mark? And we can see one mile matches up with 32. One mile matches up with 32. So let me come back here and let's clear out what I have clear out what I have and let's go back in. Oh, it did not clear. Let's try that again. Clear drawing. There we go. Alright, coming back here. And so we want to know again at the one mile mark and we know that matches up with 32 seconds. So I'm going to go back in and draw a picture here. And I want to go at 32 seconds. So this is the value I have. Now let me look at what the question asks. The question asks, what is the speed in miles per hour? Okay, so I need to take this exact value, and I'm going to be lazy right now. I know I have a second calculator. I'm going to type this in. 0 0.03068439. Six nine six, and I'm going to take it times 60 and times 60 again, just like I showed you in the last one, to end up with 110.46 miles per hour. Very last part, let's see what the last question is. Last question says, what is the average speed in miles per hour over all six? So when we figure out our average speed, we're going total distance, so total miles, which would be six laps, um, over the time of 171. And then we want to convert it back into hours. Okay, so I have six laps over 171 seconds, but I have to convert it back into, I have to convert it back into miles per hour if I read that right. Let me go back once again to see. Uh, miles per hour. Okay, gotcha. 
So when I come back here, I need to take the seconds and convert. I'm going to divide by 60 times divided by 60 again. So let me grab this calculator, press clear, and I'm going to take that and divide it by 171, divided by 60, divided by 60. Okay, so I have the total miles divided by the time as I converted it back into our hours to end up with 126.31 um, miles per hour over, that was the average over the six laps.